every skirt needs to come with shorts. Dang! Oh my god. <gasps> wow. Oh! Okay. A black skirt. Oh, so cute. I'm really excited. This is definitely a darker plaid than I would normally go for. I feel like I could pair this up with like black or maybe white. Holy smokes. I literally don't have this in my closet at all. So this will be my first time trying this on or styling it in any way, shape or form. It's giving me um, the rollback vibes to when I went to private school. Y'all, this is short. So I have this skirt right here. I'm gonna go try it on. Okay, so um, this fits me perfectly. Initially, my first thoughts are that it is very flattering. I like the fit. I picked out some really fun, colorful blazers and sweaters and nice, fun tops to add that pop of color that I'm looking for. I got a little bit excited and I opened the box. It is a plaid skirt. Well, actually it's a skirt because it is shorts underneath. I'm a little nervous because I'm considering cutting this skirt. It is a little long. If you couldn't tell from my room or my makeup, I'm very much a pastel lover. I can still match pastel accents to this and still make it my style. Plaid skirts are so fun because you can make them preppy, you can make them edgy. In the past, I've gone super edgy with this and I think I wanna try something different. Y'all, this is my aesthetic. This is my vibe. I love a short schoolgirl pleated skirt. Actually, I was expecting the skirt to be like long and more A-line, but this is chic. This is hip. So this is me trying to incorporate my summer blazer into a fall look. I don't think I did too bad of a job, but I'm not really feeling it. What I like about this is that the sweatshirt is kind of cropped, but not really. But it's still just like not enough. I don't know if I need a jacket, uh, like camo over it. I'm not mad at this. So I switched it up a little bit and did this like satin adjacent cream top. So this is my closet. I have this black denim jacket. I feel like it could be a cute later put over whatever top I wear underneath. I also pulled out just this like basic white button up because I feel it could be cool to try to button this up and do maybe like an off shoulder. I actually don't mind wearing it with like a basic black top like this. It could be jazzed up. Remember when I was like, oh, it'd be so cute to do like an asymmetrical thing with that white button up. It ain't working. I feel like it bunches up weird kind of here and it doesn't feel comfortable on at all. White sweater could be kind of cute. Honestly, I like it. It's pretty cute. We're gonna go and cut this baby up. I've committed. Oh crap, okay. Well, we'll assess the damage. So I cut off about like an inch. This is the first look. I love this white top. I love the square neckline and the poofy sleeves. I have this blazer. Let's see how it looks. Ooh. Another option with a jean jacket, a little more casual. I think it matches pretty well. I put this black lace bra underneath this mesh top and then I'm trying something. I took the fabric from the skirt that I cut and just put it in my hair. Okay, wow, this is the skirt on. Dang! Every skirt needs to come with shorts, especially when you're a tall girl and you kind of bend over and you don't want anyone peeking. So this sweater vest is really fun. This is like a cropped little moment that looks very school, but it might look too school girl. So I really like this already. It's a sweater vest and I have like my white turtleneck under it and it's like kind of clashing in a way, but that's what kind of works, I think. This looks like a Britney Spears music video, which cute, but a little too on the nose. So I really thought this like plaid on plaid would look cute. Darn. Yeah, I'm really into mixing patterns, but it's almost like these colors maybe don't match. Okay, there's something fun about this. It's also really comfortable and I don't wanna take it off, so. Fashion. I just cannot wait to style this, so let's get started. So I pulled out a black top that has sheer sleeves. I also pulled out a sleeveless white turtleneck. I'm loving it. I think it's so, so cute, but I feel like I, I do wanna try the white turtleneck because I feel like 
I might need two pieces with this look, like maybe the white turtleneck with a blazer. This is perfect. This is exactly what I had in mind. There's black and white in the skirt, but I feel like I already have the black blazer. I add the pop of white with the turtleneck. So I think this is perfect. I do want to put my hat on. I have it here. I think I found the bag that I want to use. I feel like I have my outfit almost 100%, you guys. All right, this is my red and black outfit. I went with some nice darks. I got my little schoolgirl skirt, mini sparkly devil. Really into outfit number one. You can do better. Introducing outfit number two, pumpkin girl outfit. All right, here is outfit number three, the monochromatic one. Got this nice checkered jacket. And I've got my nice kill star tangle belt. I do really like this outfit. First option is this knit vintage school sweater. I'm really loving the schoolgirl kawaii type of vibes going on. The contrast of color with the gray. It's totally up my alley and it's super cozy and fun for fall. Good option, but let's see what else I can come up with. For my next option, this really awesome cobalt blue velvet 70s blazer. And I really like the silhouette that it adds to the skirt. It's more refined, more sleek and more classic and this is what i'm really going for but i still think that i can take it up a notch wow 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 you guys i am obsessed with this vintage polka dot top and the plaid together and i think all i have to do is add a really cool fun colorful blazer and i'm good to go so i'm at my closet trying to get some inspiration i think i might go with like a white top also um like a gray sweater which would look really cute possibly want to pair this with like one of my jackets okay so here is outfit number one i don't really like the white button down it's just a little too on the nose with the schoolgirl look for me however i'm feeling the leather jacket but i think we can just do better overall so i paired the skirt with a white shirt and a very long gray sweater i'm liking this way more i feel like if i just pair it with some boots and a cute hat it will be 10 out of 10. Do I pair it with, right? Oh my God, do I just put it with like a regular long sleeve white bodysuit? You don't have to cover my nipples because you're gonna be able to see my nipples, but like, cute. I'm so excited. First of all, pro, so freaking cute. Con. I feel like if I pair it with these boots, it's gonna be a little saucier than I'm intending, you know? Is this a good option? Yes. We're gonna try the turtleneck. It's a little sheer, so you can see the tank top underneath it. I think this is it. This is pretty simple for me as I wear pleated skirts on a daily basis. I'll show you guys what I come up with. I do not like this at all, but I guess it's kind of a lesson that you can't always mix the same color as there are cool toned and warm toned colors. And this is just a prime example of this not working out. <laughs> okay, so here is an outfit. First, I have these white sparkly platformed shoes with little hearts. I have this really cute cloud oversized cardigan and I paired it with this white ruched top. I really love this skirt and it's one of those colors where you can match anything with it. I went with the satin button up and then I layered my cute little cropped sweatshirt over top of it. I have the plaid skirt, gold jewelry. I found some cute little wintery socks and my chunky combat boots and my little black purse. Here's my final look. I paired my vintage polka dot top with this really awesome yellow silk blazer with some gold earrings, gold chain, little pearl headband, and some patent white boots with plaid socks. For the final look, I decided to go for the newsboy hat, some gold hoops, a white sleeveless turtleneck, a black blazer to go with a plaid skirt, and some black knee-high boots. For my final look, I'm wearing a black mesh top layered over a black lace bra for that edgy look. And for jewelry, I have my silver hoops, black choker, silver chain, and my cancer sign necklace gifted by my roommate. Then, of course, I had to top off this look with my smash the patriarchy boots that I absolutely love. 
For my look, I paired the skirt with a navy hat, white top, and a very long gray sweater, topped it off with some platform combat boots, and voila, feeling very tough, but very cute. We got the final look. I ended up wearing the black turtleneck with some silver necklaces, this like silver chain belt, and these black booties, and I tossed on the black denim jacket, just like off shoulder. All right, here is my final fit pick. I went with the docks, the mismatch tights, skirt, my little mini accessory, my zombie shirt, and my tartan Mishka face mask to match. For my outfit, I decided that I wanted to keep the soft pastel kawaii aesthetic. So I paired a ruched white top into my skirt with this really thick cloud cardigan. And I also have these iridescent white scrunchies. And I also have my staple white sparkly demonia shoes that have metallic hearts on them. I love how my look turned out. I accessorized it with some gold hoops, some gold necklaces, and then I did add a brown teddy coat. I paired it with my white boots, and I'm feeling cute. I decided to lead into like a little Lindsay in Paris vibe. I have my shiny vinyl beret. I have this oversized sweater. I also have my knee-high boots. Honestly, I would wear this again, and I probably will.